Hello, my darling Phoenixes. Hey, Phoenix fam. You've got Daniela Langford here, and welcome to Wisdom Wednesdays. So happy to have you here with me this evening as we dive in to this excellent question that I got from one of you after last week's live about uh, slaying our shoulds, more or less, slaying our shoulds, how to identify them and how to slay them. I got this fantastic question from one of you, and she asked, does using affirmations to combat or reprogram our shoulds, our beliefs, our paradigms, does that actually raise consciousness at the same time? And that is a wonderful question, and my answer is both yes and no. <laughs> it can do both. So just to dive in really briefly, for those of you who may not be familiar with affirmations, which hopefully most of us are, that's a pretty uh, common term these days is affirmations, so it's something that's been made popular uh, for quite some time now. Uh, one of my favorite affirmationists uh, is Louise Hay. That may be one of your favorites as well. She has a wealth of information and books, and she's got tarot cards and oracle cards and, I mean, all kinds of amazing stuff uh, based off of her work. So if you are looking uh, to look into someone that is really heavily known for their affirmation work, I would definitely suggest you check out her stuff. She is absolutely amazing. No, un no fortunately. Unfortunately, she is no longer with us in the physical plane, uh, which is very... Uh, unfortunate for the rest of us, but uh, we have her work that um, outlasts her uh, physical presence, and it has changed so many lives, mine included. I can go find the book of hers that I have right now if I wanted to. So affirmations are, uh, just briefly, they are something that you use to reprogram your subconscious, more or less. So what we get told over and over again are shoulds, our beliefs, our paradigms. These things are phrases or thoughts, feelings that are ingrained into our subconscious by repetition over and over and over again as kids. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't act stupid. You shouldn't be, you know, loud. You should only be seen and not heard. You did it, 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 right? So all of these things, these are all what most would consider negative affirmations. An affirmation is ultimately a tool to help you reframe and reprogram your subconscious. So I got the question, does using affirmations to help reframe, redesign, rebuild your subconscious, does this actually raise your consciousness uh, speaking spiritually, does this also raise your consciousness level as well? And I, again, would have to say that it depends. It certainly can. It absolutely certainly can. And it really all depends on how you use them. So affirmations can be used in a multitude of different ways, uh, some more effective than others, and that could be a whole other topic for another Wisdom Wednesday. But you can use affirmations for just about any topic that you can think of. I use them all the time. You use them all the time. You just don't realize that you use them. Anytime you say anything to yourself in your head or out loud, you are basically using an affirmation. Anytime you say, oh, I'm so clumsy, that's an affirmation. You are affirming to yourself that you are clumsy or ditzy or forgetful, can't remember names, this, that, bad at this, not good at math, bad at art, can't, whatever, right? These are actually affirmations, maybe not so positive, but they are affirmations nonetheless. Again, you are affirming to your subconscious whatever it is that's in that sentence. So by using affirmations, you are reprogramming your subconscious through the tool of the chosen words and the repetition of them over the use of the affirmation or negative thought, belief, pattern, should that you have already implanted in your subconscious. So how you use the affirmation greatly will dictate not only your results, 
but what kind of results. Not only the level of results that you'll get, the speed at which you will get results, but also the type of results. So you can use affirmations, as I'm sure most of you know. You can use them for self-confidence. You can use them for weight loss. You can use them for building your business, getting successful, um, helping with family um, and friends, helping with uh, your job and success. I mean, just over and over and over. And what most people also may not think of is that you can also use them to boost your consciousness. If you go around to yourself, because this is one I used to use all the time, is I don't know. That's a great one. Think about that. Anytime you say, I don't know, you are affirming to yourself that you don't know. Think about how basic that one is. One of my favorites that got passed down through the family is, I don't know me. And that was something that was said uh, that by a lady that my parents knew, yada, 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 so on and so forth a long time ago. But it was a poor translation of her uh, native Ethiopian into English. So instead of saying, me, I don't know the answer to that, she would, she would say, I don't know me which has been passed down through now the family. And that would be something that I would say to, you know, kind of jokingly, you know, to the answer to a question. We say, hey, uh, you know, do you know where uh, my scissors have gone to? Like, nope, I don't know me. But think about that. Think about what I'm actually saying there. I don't know me. That's an affirmation saying I don't know who I am. That can be considered consciousness lowering when you think about it. So on the same turn, you can actually use affirmations to raise your consciousness. You can use affirmations in a way, using particular language that can help you boost your intuition, that can help you boost your uh, intuitive empathic abilities, boost your ability to uh, astral project, astral travel, boost your ability to use tarot, boost your ability to be magical as all get out like we like to be. This is something that you can do. You don't necessarily have to. They are primarily for most people uh, used as a mindset tool to change and reprogram the mindset and the subconscious. But along those same lines, if you in your subconscious, you've told yourself that you're not magical, that you're not intuitive, that you're not psychic, that you don't know, that you don't know the world, that you don't understand that this, 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 all of these things, that magic is bad, that uh, in intuition and psychic powers are bad, that you know, like all of these things that we get programmed with, those are running in the subconscious. So you could, in fact, use affirmations to boost your consciousness if you so chose. If it's something a little bit more on the physical world, they absolutely work, but they absolutely also work for consciousness raising. So instead of saying, I don't know, or I don't know me, or, you know, I'm, I'm not intuitive, um, or I don't have those abilities, or whatever we catch ourselves saying. And I even catch myself saying some of this crap too. And I know I'm magical as all get out. I've been magical as all get out since I was a kid. But as most of you know, also being magical as all get out as children, that kind of gets drummed out of us pretty early on by parents who, for the most part, were doing their best to make sure that we weren't being ostracized or embarrassed or separated or made fun of or anything like that. In an attempt to protect us, they actually squashed down all of these abilities because they told us over and over again, you shouldn't do that. These are bad. These are things that you shouldn't do. People don't like it when you do that. All of these things, right? It tuned us down. Well, now we've come to realize maybe we do have these abilities. Maybe it is possible for me to intuit. Maybe it is possible for me to be an energy healer. And these are things that you can indeed work on with affirmations. You can say to yourself, I am intuitive. I am an energy worker. I am a healer. All of these things. You can turn and use affirmations in any way you choose. So anytime you catch yourself, this is a great tool. 
anytime you catch yourself saying something negative about your ability, your lack thereof, um, the fear surrounding abilities, uh, turn it around. Use that technique that I shared with you in another Wisdom Wednesday where you can just click yourself out of it and say, no, you know what? I get to decide if I'm intuitive. I get to decide if I'm an energy worker. I get to decide if I'm a healer. I get to decide. So if I want to be, darn right I am. You know what? Darn right I'm an energy healer. Darn right I'm good at tarot. Darn right I communicate effectively with my guides. That's a big one. That is a huge one I hear all the time. They say, oh, I can't talk to my guides. I can't hear my guides. Case in point, my loves. Telling yourself that you can't hear your guides makes you deaf <laughs> to your guides because you're putting up that energetic block. You're putting that in your subconscious and they're not going to battering ram their way through unless of course you're like me and you put yourself into more or less a fo forced spiritual coma and you know at some point they go, you know what, we've had enough of this, you need to come out of this, come on. And then they smack you over the head with a Mack truck. Don't get to that point. <laughs> Anything that you want to do, you can use affirmations to help you achieve. Because ultimately, again, affirmations are not some kind of mystical, magical thing in a way they are. It's really cool. But as far as them being some sort of um, dark magic, uh, you know, hidden occulted kind of thing, which occult, by the way, only means hidden. So we can start writing that one right out of our subconscious. The difference between black and white magic is the magician. That's it. Gonna blow some minds really quick, but this is a big topic. This is a big, big topic for a lot of us that we think that just because we're accessing our intuitive abilities, that we're accessing our abilities to read tarot or to speak to our guides or channel even. Channeling's a big one. They're like, oh my God, like I have, I'm possessed or I have, you know, this other being speaking through me or blah, 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 blah. The only difference between a white hat and a black hat <laughs> for lack of a better description, is the practitioner. Because this may or may not scare or empower you, and it's definitely not meant to scare you. It is meant to empower you. The magic is the same. The source of the magic is more or less the same. The energy that you call forth, or you are able to call forth, is neither black or white. Granted, there are some exceptions. We're not going to go into those. Pretty sure you know what those are. We're not going to talk about that. That's a whole other topic. But point being is that I want you to begin to deprogram yourself. Redesign the programming that's in your head. Redesign the shoulds that are running in, as programming in your subconscious so that every time you want to speak to your spirit guides, every time you go into meditation to talk to your angels, every time you, you know, go to lay cards, anytime you go to cast runes or to work with your pendulum, or anytime you do anything in this realm, it has everything to do with your intention and nothing to do with the magic itself. Nada. They're doing, they, the not good guys, are doing more or less what we're doing with the exceptions okay we're not talking about the crazy exceptions okay <laughs> right none of that it all has to do with the intent we're all working with energy we all can do it we're all connected to the quantum so if you want to use affirmations to reteach yourself to re-allow yourself those abilities you absolutely can if you only want to use affirmations to work on your mindset or your physical body or your success level or your relationship with your family and your friends, that's fine too. But they are a tool that is highly accessible, highly useful, and delivers results. I use them all the time with my clients. We get together and we make personal affirmations for them that they go and they plaster on a wall or one of my favorite things to do, um, I do this, I'm actually going to make myself a new set pretty soon, actually, is to record, write down some affirmations. You know, I am strong. I am confident. 
I always make the right decisions when it comes to choosing foods that are best for my body. You know, I uh, always speak with my guides clearly, efficiently, and with love. I always receive messages from my guides clearly and efficiently with love. Whatever. Write them down and then take your phone, because they'll all do this, and record yourself. Voice record yourself. And don't judge yourself about how you sound. This would be probably 1.0 for you, and of course you can redo it um, over and over again as much as you feel like you need to so that you know, you're not judging yourself listening to yourself, right? Because I've had that happen too with people. They're like, oh, I just can't stand to listen to myself. I'm like, okay, great. Well, let me do, let me record some affirmations for you and then you can listen to me. Um, but it is kind of interesting how well it works when it is in your own voice. Because when you talk to yourself in your head, it's in your own voice. So, you know, relaying to the subconscious is you can record yourself saying these affirmations, say them three times in a row, say them all um, in chunks, do that three times in a row, or five, or seven, or however many you think that you would like to hear, and then use it. That is one of my favorite things to do and to uh, have my clients do as a project, is to build those affirmations together with them one-on-one -on -one during our session, and then have them go back as part of the homework and say, okay, now you're going to record. And when you record, listen to that in the morning. When you wake up in the morning, hey, Miss Cindy, when you wake up in the morning and you're going through your routine, you're brushing your teeth, you're going to the potty, you're doing, you know, whatever, 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 you know, putting on your clothes, putting on your makeup, whatever, you can have these affirmations in your own voice running in the background. You are listening to yourself. You are reprogramming yourself while you're doing other stuff, which in a way is equally if not more effective than doing it with a lot of focus because at least for some of us if you're anything like me I've discovered that I actually have to distract part of my brain so that the other part can focus maybe you're like that too like I'll have to listen to music like if I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna work on content for you guys or I'm gonna work on content for homework for a client or something and I have to focus and I've got like I've got an hour I'm gonna get as much done this hour as I can focus I will. Dis I have discovered, and I discovered this back in high school, not realizing what I was doing, you know, as I was studying and doing homework, but that if I'm listening to music in particular, I mean, of course, uh, TV shows in the background, or, you know, movies or whatever is one thing, but the visual aspect of it has uh, more of a tendency to distract us than anything, uh, actually distract us, <laughs> not in the good way, um, but to listen to something in the background, whether that be classical, whether that be electronic, whether that, you know, something... Um, at least for me, it's usually something without words, um, but that it could be very powerful instrumentally. And it takes part of my brain off onto its own tangent so that this part of my brain, and I may not be, you know, whichever part is working, so that the other part of my brain that needs to focus can actually focus because the monkey mind is distracted. So that is a great way to use your affirmations is to actually record yourself or have somebody like me work with me and uh, come up with them and then I will record them for you with like some nice music behind it or whatever, you know, and then you will have that to listen to. You wake up in the morning and you're like, good morning, this is going to be a great day, yada, 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 launch into the affirmations. You would be surprised at how much it works. This is, again, a tool I use often with my clients because it is about reprogramming the subconscious. So is using affirmations as part of your should slaying kit, is that something that also raises consciousness? That is the question. My answer is yes, it absolutely can be. It doesn't have to be. If that's not something that you're focusing on right now, which, I mean, if you're in this group that you're probably slightly focusing on your spiritual evolution, one would hope. But if that's not something that you're currently focusing on, like you've got um, a health situation that you would like to get under control, use your affirmations for that. And maybe throw in an intuitive one every now and again. You know, saying, I am confident and secure in my abilities to intuit. I am confident, secure, and loving in my abilities to speak with my spirit guides. I am confident and loving in my abilities to work with the tarot and to serve people with it. Just throw one of those in there. Every once in a while. 
it adds to the redesign of the programming. And even though there's nothing you can do about the programming that you've got, as far as you can't go back in the past and not have yourself be programmed, as far as we know, it is our responsibility to deprogram ourselves, to redesign the operating software, because that is within our ability and our power to do. So that's what we're doing here is teaching you these tools to be able to embrace your true inner power. Your true inner power is one of choice. Your true inner power is one of being able to decide what you want to think about yourself and the world and what you don't. Affirmations can be used for that in all abilities for just about anything you can think of. So I would like to encourage you to start to use them for your spiritual growth. If there's something that you are unsure of, if that's something that you want to develop more, start bringing those affirmations in. Anytime that you, you know, think something poorly about yourself or your abilities, your intuitive empathic abilities, say, no, you know what? I'm going to turn this around. I am intuitive. I am empathic. And I use these abilities to help myself navigate the world in a more positive and loving way. Repeat that. I am intuitive. I am empathic. And I use my abilities to help myself navigate the world in a positive and loving way. You can change your whole situation and all of a sudden your guys will start talking to you. <laughs> all of a sudden you're going to have really great meditation. All of a sudden, you know, you're going to be able to finish other people's sentences because you already know where they're going because you're in their head. Super cool. So yes, use your affirmations. Use them for whatever you like. So yes, they can raise consciousness. It's really cool. All right, my lovelies, I have got to go and serve somebody. Speaking of which, got a client session coming up. So I wanted to share that with you tonight because that was a fabulous question that I got from one of you uh, after our talk about how to uncover your shoulds and how to slay them last week. They asked if using affirmations as part of the slaying kit, if that actually also has the dual benefit of being able to raise your consciousness. So yes, it can. doesn't have to if you don't want to use the tool in that way but it absolutely can. Thank you so much, my darlings, for hanging out with me this evening. It was a pleasure, as always, to be with you. Uh, throw some comments down in the comments. Tell me how you feel about this. Tell me about your experiences using affirmations or using them to boost uh, your spirituality, boost your consciousness level. Share with us. I always love to hear from you. And as, as always, if you ever have any questions that you would like for me to cover in Wisdom Wednesdays, I am open to suggestion. Please throw them down in the comments below or you can message me privately. I would love to hear from you and I love getting to share um, answers to your questions. All right, my loves, I'm going to head out. I love you all. Thank you for joining me for Wisdom Wednesdays. This is Daniela Langford of ReDYLF, Redesign Your Life Forever, and I will see y'all later.